In this video, I'm gonna show you how to make delicious low-carb brownies that are keto, paleo, sugar-free, and grain-free. They're super delicious and they're full of healthy ingredients. Now, my name is Crystal Elizabeth and my channel is all about natural health and fitness, sustainable weight loss, fixing digestion, and natural beauty secrets. So please subscribe to my channel and I look forward to providing you with lots of value. Now, if you're committed to health and fitness and staying in the best shape of your life and staying that way, then you know that sugar and often grains have no place in your diet. So this recipe is delicious. These brownies are fudgy and gooey and they are an amazing treat. Now, I would say that if you're really focused on weight loss, on cutting, um, reducing your body fat, I would not eat these every day, but they are a great treat. And you can indulge in them and know that they are good for your health in moderation. So for our ingredients, we have one third of a cup of unsweetened organic cocoa powder. We have a quarter of a cup of coconut flour, a third of a cup of almond flour. We have three free range eggs at room temperature, one additional egg yolk. We have half a cup of grass fed butter or ghee or coconut oil. I've chosen to do half ghee, half coconut oil. One cup of golden Lakanto, and what that is, is that's monk fruit and erythritol. We have one tablespoon of grass fed gelatin and two tablespoons of grass-fed collagen. We are also gonna put one teaspoon of organic espresso or coffee, tea two teaspoons of salt, three quarters of a cup of Lily's chocolate chips, or you can use 100 grams of unsweetened baker's chocolate plus an extra quarter cup of Lakanto. And I'm choosing to put a quarter a cup of of chopped pecans, but you can use any nut that you like. And then I've decided at the end, I'm gonna do a cashew cream cheese on top. So this is just a cultured cashew cheese that I made and powdered Lakanto. I am going to, to put a card up at the top of the screen now so that you can learn what the recipe is and how to make it for this cultured cashew cheese. Now what you want to start by doing is line an 8 by 8 inch baking pan with some parchment paper. It will stick easier if you lightly grease the pan with some coconut oil first. You lay an additional piece of parchment paper on top, the brownies will be able to come out a lot easier. Now we are going to set a pot on the stove with a little bit of simmering water in it and put a glass bowl on top and put our ghee into the bowl to let it melt. We're also going to add our chocolate chips. And stir it until it's completely melted. Once it's completely melted, we add in our golden Lakanto. Once the Lakanto has completely melted and we're left with a beautiful, shiny chocolate ganache, we take it off of the stove and add in one egg at a time and beat the eggs into our chocolate mixture. Just be sure not to overbeat the mixture because it can make the brownies a little bit more tough. So only stir to combine. Now we're gonna add in our grass-fed collagen, our grass-fed gelatin, and sea salt. Now 
Now mix it up. Now we're gonna add our espresso or coffee and sifted cocoa powder. I recommend sifting all the powders just to get any of the lumps out. Almond flour. Our coconut flour. And finally, our chopped nuts of choice, if you decide to add them in. I like to add them in because they add a little bit of crunch. Empty the batter into the baking pan and even it out. Now preheat your oven to 350 degrees and position the rack in the lower third of your oven. Once it's heated, place it in the oven and bake for 20 to 23 minutes. Once it's ready, take it out and let it cool for an hour or 30 minutes in the fridge. It's looking delicious. Now I'm gonna make the cashew cream cheese frosting. All you do is mix the cultured cashew cheese with powdered Lakanto. I'm gonna put a card at the top of the screen now so that you can get access to the cashew cheese recipe. And I'll also put a link to the powdered Lakanto in the description box below. All right, so our brownies have been sitting in the fridge cooling for 30 minutes. So now let's take them out of the baking pan. All right, let's take a look at the final result. So now I'm going to put some of the cream cheese frosting on some of them. All right guys, so here's the final result. Just put the cream cheese frosting on a few of them. And let's give it a taste. frosting is delicious and those brownies are so fudgy so gooey so delicious they actually taste just like traditional brownies you never know that these were sugar-free this is an amazing recipe I highly recommend you try it and this is a great treat in this video I showed you how to make low-carb brownies they're keto paleo sugar-free and bikini body friendly if you like this video, please like it and subscribe to my channel for more videos on natural health and fitness. Thank you so much for watching. See you on the next video.